the region, the region that you see before you is Darfur, Sudan, which is located in Africa. This, this particular place here has been in conflict, in a genocide conflict to be ex um, exact. It has been in a conflict that has lasted for a decade. The problem is, the thing is that we look into is why should we um, care about this problem that's going on right now in another part of the world that doesn't in, that we think does not include us. But I'm here to tell you that it does because the genocide formed based off of racial discrimination, and racial discrimination is something that exists everywhere in the world, no matter where you are. It it is a it is a problem that we need to look into because of. We can look more into deep of what led to the genocide, what started this. We can figure out like what solutions have been attempted to try and solve the problem. Any any information will, will benefit any of us. I got into into um, looking at this problem because I saw that schools really didn't talk that much about the problem. They they saw they saw that they basically did a mention of this ongoing genocide as a topic to be discussed in class. I decided to take it upon myself to, to read as, as much articles as I could online, on newspaper, whether it be the LA Times, just to get a good idea of, of what's really going on and explore more about how the people that have been affected. My purpose is uh, to inform you of the, I, w I will inform you of the, pro of the start of the genocide, leading, um, leading up to the, which at the start of the genocide, the, gov the involvement of, of the government, the, the people involved in it, the solutions that have been attempted to try and resolve this problem, and the, if the problem is still ongoing until today. So I will discuss, I will discuss the, now, now that I've given you an insight of to what I will talk about, I will sh I will um, tell you about will tell you about the start of the genocide. The start of the genocide began in February 2003. The it, it escalated as a as more of a it it escalated as an attack on on non-Sudanese non um, groups that were there. Basically, the only ones that were targeted were African African groups. And according to Gamal A. Adam of, of Peace Review Journal, the UMA, the UMA National Islamic Front have tried to transform Sudan into a pure Arab society. It, it is um, a genocide that, that's based on racial discrimination. It started as, as a means to wipe out anyone that is not that is not a a, a, a pers um, it it was formed to um, to eliminate one specific group because the Sudanese people feel that they that um, Darfur should belong to them that it is that it sh that anyone else should just be taken out um, and according and. Um, the person that you see before you is the president of Darfur, Omar Hassan uh, Ahem Bashir. He is uh, the one who is um, he is the one who is still looking at this issue, and he he um, says that he has no involvement with the issue. He's, he calls the attacks and everything on the African uh, on the people. He's, he's, he is, says that he is against the attacks against against the war discriminating the people. And according to Edward Sanders of the LA Times, in the US, many see the six year war in Darfur as a bloody campaign as a, as a, a as Arab dominated government against rebellious African tribes in the Western Sudan. Basically what it means is that it, the whole genocide revolves around the idea of, of politics that the government has been involved with some issues and is supporting what the Sudanese um, people ha are, have been trying to, uh, their actions. Mm. Well, relief that has tried to, tried to be provided to the African people was, uh, was a peace agreement. 
which settled disputes between both sides. This agreement stated that both sides would have power sharing and land sharing, so it would not be, it, it was just something to neutralize the attack on Darfur. And according to an article published in 2006 in UCLA, in May 2006, the Darfur Peace Agreement was broken between the government of Sudan and fraction of Darfur rebels. So the there was an the argument there was a an agreement between both sides. Both um, one side did not see it fairly, which was the, the Sudan, the ones that, that target the African groups. They saw they did not want to share anything. They did not want to share the land or anything. So they decided to ignore just ignore the agreement. And this is one group that you see before you. It, the, there are two groups that are fighting, the Sudanese Liberation Army, and the group that, that's been attacking has been, is called the, the Janjaweed. The, this group in particular is a group um, that mostly you would see riding on camels, vehicles. This group um, has been attacking, destroying, village, destroying villages. And What happens is that when they would attack a certain, when they would attack a village, they would try to do anything to make sure that the people there can't go back and and basically live off and basically try to rebuild anything because when they would attack a village, the water would be poisoned, villages burned down, people um, massacred it. And right here, what you see before you have been. Um, bodies of people that have been found, and in an art and according to an article by Eric Reeves published in 2005 in the Sudan Tribune Tri um, News, killing 350,000 to 400,000 in 29 months. So since that genocide began, they um, basically the number has has been increasing of total the total of that that are in um, in Darfur Sudan. And now that I have given you, um, and now that I've informed you of, of the problem and how, how it continues to, of uh, the problem and its ongoing condition, I will tell you about the, about its current state now. So still, in, so now in 2014, the problem is still ongoing. There is still, it, it's slowly progressing, but it's. But for the future, for the future, it still seems like that that the genos that the genocide conflict will continue. Mm. The genocide conflict still continues to this day, and without any, and it's um, the gov the government's involvement to try and clear the problem has not been has not has not brought any relief to the people yet. And, and the genocide still gets to continue to long go. Thank you.